And welcome back to the Hermitcraft FTP server. In the last episode, the node growing project from that episode has uh, had pretty good success. As you can see right here, its maximum mean average or whatever aura is 816. The current level is 824. I did go ahead and uh, take a suggestion that somebody left in the comments that I put crystal clusters around here because it would help uh, build up the aura level in the area and I took it another step farther and I put some crystal capacitors here to let them charge up. I need to make some more of those and let them all charge and uh, so on but I'm thinking right now that the next thing I want to do is we have another node over here and this one is not a pure node. This is uh, a node with a 582 average or mean or whatever it's supposed to be. And I'm thinking to take to arrange to have this one moved and I'm being hit by oh Okay. Let me back off here and get out something that can hit at range. There we go. A bit of lightning helps. Alright, where are you? Anyway, what I want to do is move this node closer to that one that grew in the last episode and get it close enough to where they will just merge together and become one. Because when this one merges with that one, it will make for a larger, pure node yet. So, let's stop in the factory and pick up some stuff and see about doing that. I think what I need is uh, in the AE system, as a matter of fact. Okay. Obsidian totem. I figure a stack of that ought to be enough. And I think everything else I need. Let's see. Okay, I need this crystal core and four, well, total of eight obsidian totem and a structure like this with a crystal core a block above it. All right. Okay, we can do that. And see yeah that's the thing I need to make so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some daylight here since it's night and we'll get started on this all right to make this I need four mixed crystal clusters and it's a crystal cluster made like that four of them let's see actually I've got some down here why don't I just use those for right now okay I've got four mixed crystal clusters and they go in here with another star and let's see, yeah, I'll need this uh, no, wait a minute, that's, I don't think that one's enough let's see let me look at that 
okay it's enough to make those to make that okay okay and now somebody else also asked about what was these guys these are golem workers and this one right here with the bucket he has the job of keeping that cauldron filled so anytime I use it and run it out of water it refills the water and this one has these glass files and uh, these alembics here hooked onto the side of the uh, cauldron gather excess essentia from any time I'm doing things there and it stores it in those glass files and stores those here in this chest. Now, which ones do I need? Vacuos, that's okay. Mutatio, Alienus, Precontatio. Okay. Only have one of those. And only one of the... Okay. I'll just uh, do it the other way. Uh, let's see. Alright. Vacuous. Okay, I can get that from chests. Not a problem. four so that'll be enough of that um, Mutasio that's nether wart alienus is ender pearls okay let's get this started I know I'm gonna have to go get some more stuff all right Eight vacuous. So two chests. Eight of that, uh, yeah. So eight of these guys. these in here and then a couple of ender pearls and apparently that's enough okay bam one crystal core all right now for the remain the second part I need to make these and that and I need 300 V Swand to activate it. Fortunately, I have a wand that can do that. All right. Now, from what I understand, this thing has a range limit. It can only move something from just so far away. So let's see. Uh, okay, I got one excavation here. Let's. Excavate some of this out of the way. Alright. I'm just going to set this up right here. dirt now I should just be able to take the crystal core put it there and hit it with the wand to activate it Alright, 
it's lighting up. It's draining a lot of local V's. Hopefully I didn't put it too far away. We should see this thing start moving towards that if I've done this right. This is all right, thirty four, three twenty eight, and this is thirty four, three oh five. So that should be just within range. I know the Vs level's going way down. So this thing is sucking a lot of it out. Okay. All right, I'm going to watch this for a little bit and see what starts to happen when. Okay, I just tried something. I ended up uh, hitting it with the wand a second time. And it drained more Vs, and it expanded out real quick and got brighter. So it might be beginning to start to do something, I hope. Because if not, then that will mean that I've positioned it too far away from the node that I want to move, and I'll have to break it all down and remake the core and position it again only closer so it's starting to get dark here I'm going to wait around a little bit longer and if nothing happens in the next few minutes I'm going to decide that I need to move this thing closer to the thing I want to move because it does have a limited range okay it's been a good while here and nothing's going on so I have obviously positioned it too far away so let's break this thing down get it into its component parts. Fortunately, I get all the pieces back. Uh, let's drop the cobble, get the nether star. Alright. Dig up these uh, totems. I will remake the crystal car and try this again a little bit closer to the thing we want to move. Alright, we have our crystal core remade. Now let's head down here and try this again. This time instead of trying to drag it from there all the way up here, we'll just uh, move it a little ways at a time, say over to here. something I can take down easily. Alright. Get the crystal core in place. And now let's get out the wand and hit it with that. Okay. Nothing seemed to happen. Although it's getting bright. has a thousand V's in it. It didn't 
it didn't take any of it. this one, although I don't believe this one has enough. No, it doesn't. It needs 300 for this. Yeah, I know I put this thing together right. <laughs> to pause a second and see what I can figure out about what it is I probably did wrong. Oh look, a wisp. See, I'm right clicking on that thing and nothing's happening. That strikes me as being a sign that something is not done right. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, this thing is not doing anything yet, and the only reason I can possibly think of is that perhaps it needs line of sight to the thing that it's going to move. So, let's get out the wand of excavation. And excavate all this stuff that's in the way. it with the wand again. Nothing happens. What? Okay, this is not making a whole heck of a lot of sense here. I suppose it's conceivable. It might need to be above. I'm not really sure I think what I'm going to do now is, well, when all else fails, look it up on a wiki. I'll be back. All right, still don't quite have a clue as to why it's not working. I did have one theory. There was some flowers growing in here, and I just broke them, along with some seeds and whatnot. So let's see if that makes a difference. Whoops. Let's not hit it with lightning. That seems to have made the difference. Okay. It's behaving right. We have a node wisp to get that up. I'm not going to chase it down. I just want it to be... Okay, here we are. It's working. We have our little uh, tractor beam, if you will. All right. So now it's just a matter of waiting it out while this node is dragged into the position where the crystal core is now and I'll be back when it gets there alrighty as you can see the node is almost all the way there well a little over halfway something like that and once it's in position Oh, look, the totems look pretty cool when they're activated like that. Once it's in position, I'll break the totems down, move them closer to where I want to put the thing, and break down the crystal core and make up a new one again, remake it, set it up, and repeat the process to move this thing closer still to that silverwood tree. a little bit of an expensive time-consuming process because you need to remake that crystal core because when you break it down it breaks down into the component shards that it was made from 
well, at least you get all the parts back, but you do have to reinvest the time and material and vis and whatnot to rebuild it. Okay, it looks like the job, the move is almost done this time. Kind of seems like it's moving a little faster as it gets closer. this node over there. We'll get it merged with that pure node. Once it's close enough for that to happen, uh, the pure node will probably move towards it and then I'll use this little structure once again to put the pure node back where I want it. Alright, job's just about done. Excellent. This is the way it's supposed to work. So, all right. I'm just gonna go ahead and tear down these totems, break down the cluster, rebuild it, and set up another one. Set it up again, 24 blocks closer to where I want it. And I'll be back when I'm ready to activate it. All right back with a new crystal core and let's move this thing again. I've got 24 torches here just to kind of make it easier to keep track of how far I've gone. That way I can get the most move for each setup. Okay, so right there. And we'll just pop the cobble down here. Hello, locking up. Right, that was special. I had a crash, and it was due to, uh, well, I don't know a reason for it, but what happened was, is I got an error message that said that my uh, graphics driver lost connection with the hardware or something like that. I don't get that quite it was some weird message from the NVIDIA driver lost connection with something and it killed Minecraft and forced me to start everything up and now I don't have any sound but I'm not going to worry about that All right, let's just use the dirt crystal core in place and hit it with the wand nothing oh gotta get the torch out of there apparently anything in this space that occupied by these totems makes it not the structure it's supposed to be all right it took the beast this time and I've deliberately not made it a point to go and grab the uh, stuff in the way to see if line of sight is an issue. Apparently, line of sight is not an issue. Alright, so now it's getting moved. And I think while this is getting moved, I'm going to go make another crystal core for the next phase of the operation, which will be to move it another 24 blocks this way. Now I'll be back. Right, this move is completed, so let's break down the core and the totems. 
and I have another setup already in place. And we'll get this thing moved the rest of the way. Well, another 24 blocks. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and uh, keep repeating this move the node and then move the setup routine until the thing is oh over here somewhere where I can uh, expect it to start thinking about merging with the uh, big one that's up there alright so Let's whack this with the wand and start it up. I figure I got at least three, maybe four more mo moves before it uh, has a chance of merging. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that and I'll be back. The node has been almost finished moving for its fourth move. And I'm going to set the fifth move to take it up here to on top of the chicken farm. It currently doesn't have any chickens in it because I got tired of the lag every time I went near it. And uh, then after that I'll start moving it even closer and see about getting these two nodes to merge. So, we'll take care of that in the next episode. I say that because it's both the uh, time is getting close to 30 minutes and also because it's late enough in the evening that I'm starting to get some seriously bad lag. And with the wisps that have been spawning because of the feast drain on these nodes in this process, I don't want to be around with lag. I mean, even with quantum armor, it's uh, not great when you have all that lag and can't respond. So, okay, that move is complete, and next time we'll make the move to up there, and closer yet so that they can begin to merge, and then finally one last move to pull, them in, pull it into the, the combined node into the place where I want it to be. We'll get to that next time. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.